it's great to be here with uh, Dick Stone from uh, Jack Radio Group. Um, he's the group content manager. We're here to talk about two exciting new national stations that the Jack Group launched, I think probably in the middle of December. Hmm. Um, but I think they're still very new and we're all still catching up on them. And they're called Union Jack Rock and Union Jack Dance. Before we get into those new stations, um, I wanted to ask you about the Union Jack station and the Union Jack brand. Uh, can you, I mean, some people have, haven't heard Union Jack, um, shame on them, but some haven't heard the station. Can you describe it to us? Yeah, I mean, Union Jack is obviously the original Jack format that uh, was in the, in the UK in the Oxford market. Um, you know, we like to do things a little bit differently in the way that we program the Jack radio stations. And, and, and Union Jack is a station that celebrates the best of British. You know, it began in September in 2016, um, and we play only British artists, uh, only British uh, comedy. Comedy is a central part of our strand as well. So it's music and comedy. And you know, I remember yeah, yeah. Uh, comments many, many moons ago saying comedy is the new rock and roll. So why not? <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, we celebrate the, the very best of British music genres, Dick. Yeah, I mean, it's it's largely centered in a sort of a rock format, but we yeah. play you know, pop and some dance and okay. across across most, most eras. It, it's about you know, celebrating what, the best in British music. What sort of artists will, will we hear on Union Jack? Oh, well, you hear ELO and Queen and Elton John and you know, all, okay. the, all the, 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 great, the great British artists, but also, of course, the Beatles. And, um, but then you know, we'd also play some Calvin Harris. Uh, so you know, it's across all the genres, pretty much. But the, the thing that is also different about the way that we do Union Jack is that the music is programmed by the listener. So you can, you can download the Union, the Union Jack app and you can change the song that's going to play next. Oh, brilliant. So um, it's completely, you know, you, you can vote for the song, you can change the yeah. song. Um, and we have somewhere in the region of 600,000, you know, votes every, every month. So it, it's, wow. um, it's a huge amount of interaction with the audience. And that, look, I know these are difficult times for the industry and obviously the country at large, um, but, and you launched back in 2016. Are you able to gauge, you know, the success of Union Jack Radio, how, how it's been, been doing? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Radio is, uh, is a dim distant memory at the moment, but, um, you know, last time around, I think we something like 180,000 listeners um, in the UK. We were um, uh, the fastest growing commercial radio station in 2019, uh, not, uh, shortlisted for the best national station in the Arias. Oh, brilliant. So, you yeah. know, it's a, it's a station that's got a lot of growth and you're being part of what is a small group? We have six radio stations in the Jack Radio Group. Yeah. So one of the benefits of that is that you know it's a small but agile and very creative team, so we can move fast. Um, and uh, it's a small number of people, so you can get you, you can get stuff done. You know, you, yeah, can, yeah. you can move with well, speed. Um, and obviously, it's a sign of your confidence and the group's confidence in the Union Jack brand that you've launched two new stations: uh, Union Jack Rock and Union Jack Dance. I think they came out well at the end of. 2020? Yeah, launched on December the 11th yeah. uh, in 2020. So it's a brave decision to launch two national radio stations in the middle of a global pandemic. Um, but, you know, fortune favours the brave. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, basically those two radio stations take the same DNA as Union Jack. So we have comedy as part of the central part of those stations. Yeah. But we, we you know, when you think about it, um, you know, there are some huge iconic uh, rock artists and dance artists that emanate from this little lump of rock in the sea. Um, you know, quite disproportionate, the impact that the UK music scene has globally. Yeah, yeah. So we celebrate that with those two formats. So, you know, you will hear on uh, Union Jack Rock, um, obviously the likes of Queen, etc., and some classic rock too, but then we'd also you know, celebrate the Britpop era. So, you know, Oasis and Blur and all of those that, that were absolute iconic artists for their time. Um, and similarly on dance, you know, Faithless, Fat Boy Slim, Calvin Harris, as we mentioned, uh, you know, Craig David and the like. Um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, other artists like The Orb or, um, you know, a, a man called Adam, who are huge British artists that have produced some of the world's best dance songs. Um, and we'll celebrate those alongside some great British comedy. 
That's, I mean, that, that's great. I mean, I was been listening this morning. It's a very fresh uh, offering and uh, gr great to have it. It's, and tell me, how is it available? It's national on DAB, DAB Plus at the moment? Yes, that's right. Two DAB Plus radio stations. So national um, on the digital two multiplex, um, obviously available on the app. Um, yeah, yeah. And they have their, their own apps um, and also on, uh, you know, smart speakers, etc. So um, it's, I mean, I would say that, you know, we have the, the, the comedy strand and the music strand that will delight an audience and we celebrate that, that Britishness, um, but not in a sort of a jingoistic kind of way, in a celebratory kind of way. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we, we produce some terrific music out of this, out of these islands. So, you know, let's, let's, let's put the best out there. Yeah, it's a celebration. Um, and uh, DB Plus, I mean, all three stations are on DB Plus, um, which we're seeing, you know, increasing number of particularly national stations on DB Plus. I mean, why DB Plus and how do you feel about broadcasting on DB Plus? I think the benefit, of, I mean, it, it's the latest iteration of, of DAB. So, you know, it, it's spectrum efficient. Yeah. Um, which is terrific, which means that, you know, we're making the best out of, of what is available because spectrum is a scarcity and, um, you know, there's only so much you can you can employ. So, you know, I think that, um, you know, all the, radio set, all the radio sets that you can now buy, DAB radio sets that you can buy are all DAB plus enabled. Um, so, you know, why not? I mean, I think it's, you've, you've got to grasp the, uh, the future and, and go for it. Well, look, um, we wish you all the success in the world with the two new stations. Uh, as I said, I mean, they're sounding sounding great. And as you said, I'm sure they'll only actually, you know, they'll be developed and improved over time. But they set, they, they start in a really good place. So we wish you and the, the Jack group uh, really well. We look forward to checking in with you in a year's time and uh, and take care. Thank you so Thanks. much. For joining. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks very much indeed, Ford.